Hey guys, flying up the P-38G. This thing has, <laughs> has become quite good, checking to make sure I'm recording. Just played the entire match talking, thinking I was recording. Turned out I wasn't. But it's, it has gotten good. <laughs> when everyone was saying, oh, why is the P-38 so crap? And everyone else was saying, oh, it's because it was really crap. No, it wasn't. This is a lot closer to how it really was. The Fowler flaps, which now actually has the Fowler flaps. What are Fowler flaps? These. Give it a minute. Let me slow down. They don't deploy unless you're doing really slow. Oh, Fowler flaps. Basically, they provide a lot more lift than standard landing flaps. They also don't provide anywhere near as much drag, and unlike most flaps that just increase lift, these also increase the wing area, which reduces the plane's wing loading quite drastically. Unfortunately, in the game at the moment, they generate a huge amount of drag, which they should generate some drag, but nowhere near as much as a normal aircraft's landing flaps do, so it's still not quite accurate until you can fly and fight more effectively with the Fowler flaps down, it's still not going to be perfectly realistic, but it's a lot better. Its climb rate uh, very well might be overperforming now. It can do 25 meters per second, pretty much all the way to 5k, which, because of how the supercharger it worked, it should be doing, and it, doesn't, it didn't start to drop off at all, really, until you were over that. And then because it only had a one-stage supercharger above about 5.5 to 6k, above that is when this plane just went to shit. And unfortunately, most combat over the east or over the uh, over Europe on the Western Front, which is where the P-38s were taking part in the combat, most of that combat happened above, well above 6K, often around 9K, sometimes even up to 12. But that was rather rare, as most German fighters had hell getting there. <laughs> but oftentimes, the, some of the American pilots in their P-51s would climb all the way to the upper limit of the P-51. And because the Germans would try and climb above the American bomber formations and dive through them, and some American pilots figure out, hey, why don't we try climbing all the way above our bomber formation? So as the Germans are diving on our bombers, we can dive on them. And then they, when they started flying the what what's called the air dominance missions well ahead of the bombers, the high altitude guys would also fly above it. Yeah, it does. This plane does climb better than a P-51 now, which it should. It has it weighs about a third more than a P-51, and it has almost double the power. Well, it doesn't. The Allison engines on this version, but does it does have a better power loading than P-51, so it should outclimb a P-51. And there is a complete and total lack of uh, enemy aircraft up here. He's much better at spotting dots than I am, so I'm mostly just not going to worry about it. Hey, 185! Glide on you? Oh, guide. Guide, alright, yeah. I don't really feel like diving after 185. This plane is a little difficult to control in a dive, uh, but its roll rate stays rather good. It has a very high roll inertia, which means it takes a while to get started rolling, but once it starts rolling, it rolls just fine. Which is as it should. Because of how fast it is and how good its climb... Whoops! Rolled the wrong way, but because of how good its climb rate is, I don't really worry about... Um... <coughs> diving on people as much as I would on, like, a Mustang that takes quite some time to climb. As you can see, we have climbed these 185s absolutely no problem. The 185 will outclimb us and out accelerate us at low altitude. But this isn't low altitude. The 185 drops off massively after four and a half kilometers. And it hits it pretty much is done by 6k. So me staying up here by 6k, if I'm pretty much safe from him. If he wants to go up here, he's gonna have hell. And seeing how good this plane has gotten, I would highly discourage head-ons. This plane used to not, it wasn't super good at head-ons. Look at how fast he turned onto his tail. The 185 can effectively turn with N1Ks. <laughs> Nubex has already shown me very well that the, the 185 can turn with N1Ks. Which means if, if 185s can turn with N1Ks, and the P-38 can now turn with 185s, 
outturn when it fives drastically, it looks like. Then, yeah, this plane has... Oh, it's, it's yeah. I would prioritize the Air Cobra, just knowing how good they are, but the 185, well, we're getting into low altitude, we're getting into where the, is he coming head on with me? Nope. Just completely locked up due to G-Lock. He turned into me absolutely no problem, and now I'm using my, I have no idea how much this thing weighs, but it's significantly more than a P-51 without much extra drag, just letting that momentum carry me back up. Oh yeah, no, also the two two pretty good sized engines. They're not exactly pushovers either. But now this plane, something about it I'm not sure I support is that it loops pretty much as well as the uh, derpa derpa derp. Me and my brain not work too good right now. I feel a little bad about that. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a biplane it looked like. And now we're going to pitch vertical. You can follow me if he likes. Does not have the energy. I'm basically just doing pure zoom tactics, because this plane does zoom tactics best. So I would highly recommend using this plane's zoom abilities rather than using its newfound turn fighting abilities. Just because you can turn with the Yak ones doesn't mean you should, because you can turn with them, you can massively out energy fight them, and you can massively, massively, massively out zoom fight them, and him diving from me is playing right into my hands. And I'm willing to let those guys get above me. I can outrun them no problem anyway. This isn't meant to make him... This, I'm not trying to hit him. I'm trying to get him to break. And now follow me up. Is that fuel? Yeah, he's leaking fuel. Leaking fuel like crazy. Or that white... I'm pretty sure that white was his wingtip smoke he threw on to try and cover up the fact that he was leaking fuel like mad. Is my squad mate still alive? Yeah, he's still up somewhere. Yeah, I got two air kills. I'm outscoring him for once. <laughs> Wait for it, he's gonna get two within a few seconds here in a, in a moment. Seriously, where the hell did he end up? Um, he's right in front of me somewhere. Was he the patient one that stuck at altitude this time? Oh, that's the enemy's dot. Yeah, if you get far enough from your teammates, you actually lose a spot on them. Probably should ask him where he is, but, you know. He's in a P-38. <laughs> there's nothing he fears at Tier 2 anymore. And there shouldn't be. This thing has become such a monster. I really want to show off how good it can turn now, but everyone's dead. <laughs> Seriously, how many are left? We've got, uh, got two. So I'm going to start going towards the airfield. Oh, he's already been... Oh, he crashed? That's lame. So where's that last guy? I want to try turn fighting whoever's left just to... Yeah, just because of this plane. I really want to know. Um, the, te the small amount of testing I've done with it so far, it's... There's a lot of good things going for it. It's acceleration being one of the main ones that if you ever end up too slow to turn, well... You can just throw it into a hard... You can just throw it into a slight nose down, you'll have plenty of speed back. Or you can just level off for a little bit, and you'll have plenty of speed back. This thing accelerates very well now. I'm not sure you can have... Oh! <laughs> and because of how much lift it generates, you need to pay close attention. You have to go about 5 degrees nose down to do level flight. Oh! I want to turn with someone! That guy hasn't been shot down yet. I really, really want to turn with someone. Come on, I'm going to go to low altitude just because why the hell not? Um, there's two airfields, A and B. I'm pretty sure they can't... I don't know if they can land on those or not. 
If they can, then that's going to be mildly annoying. Not sure which of the three airfields he's going to go for. Oh, and he was shot down by a destroyer. All right, great. So let's see if this plane still rips its wings in hard dives. Oh, and its roll rate has gotten good. It does have compression on the elevator, though, but not too much. No, it doesn't. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, it has G-lock just like everything else. It rolls and pitches and acts all kinds of silly at low speed, or at high speed, but other than that, still a pretty good high speed plane. I'd still be careful with it in extended dives. It still rips its wings pretty early due to the compression problems that this plane historically suffered. So, just be careful with it at high speeds. Other than that, it's become a monster. It really has. 7 G's, no problem. Oh, and then I'm down to 5 because of G-Lock. Or 6. I'm not sure if it's 5 or 6 that it locks you at, but whatever it is, all planes are hit the same one. Oh, it's gotten good. Oh, it's gotten good. Trust me, it's good now. It's really, really good now. That wasn't the best example, but I don't care. It's good. It's really good.